I think marijuana uh, should not be legal in this country. I believe it's a gateway drug to other uh, drug violations. The, uh, the, the, uh, the use of illegal drugs in this country is leading to terrible consequences. Now we all know Mitt Romney's stance on drugs, but it was interesting to hear Kelly's thoughts on the drug war, considering it affects him every day. To me, this used to be the most peaceful place in the world. Right. Yeah, man, I used to let my kids go to Nuevo Casas Grandes, right. go to the shows, go to dances, go to parties. Yeah. But now you keep close watch. And it all has to do with the drug violence that has right. started, you know. Uh, when they started the war on drugs, yeah. uh, the violence just escalated. Most of the problems that we have around here are drug-related, right. you know, and uh, there's been some kidnappings and some killings from drug-related things, you know. Right. Have there ever been any Romneys kidnapped? Yeah, my brother was kidnapped three years ago in May. Oh, I think they kept him for two days, took him to a cave up in the mountains. They paid a small ransom, it wasn't a lot. And they were mainly punks, they weren't really professionals. Right. And most of the weapons that are here in, in Mexico are illegal weapons. And yes. most of those illegal weapons are coming from the states. Yes. Fast and Furious, I'm sure you've heard about yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> now the Fast and the Furious scandal he's talking about refers to a case where the American government gave thousands of guns to the cartels in order to track them. Then they proceeded to lose track of them until they surfaced again in the murder cases of American agents. What, they think they were gonna keep, be able to keep control of them or keep track of them? Nonsense. Yeah. You know, I don't know what in the world they were thinking. And, sending all those weapons to Mexico. And the Fast and the Furious scandal is just one of many that have seriously embarrassed the American government. Now, perhaps Mitt's hardline stance on issues like guns, immigration, and drugs becomes more clear. Because even though his father was born in Chihuahua, Mitt surely must want to distance himself from the region. Because the region is totally fucked up. And it's not the first time that this has been the Romney strategy either. When his father ran for president, both his citizenship and his Mormon colony's polygamist roots were called into question. And his run for the White House didn't last too long. But Mitt Romney has to deal with his family's polygamist past, kidnapping, drug wars, and in the extreme case of Ervil LeBaron, crazy Mormon blood atonement. Now having close familial ties to all of this shit does not a good presidential candidate make. You know, what do you think being on the front lines of this, what do you think are the, some of the solutions to these problems. Looking at it from a perspective of someone living here, yeah. we say, well, why don't they legalize it in the United States and cut out all the violence in Mexico? Sure. <laughs> as long as you have the swimming pool over there, this is gonna be the diving board. So as we began our long drive back to the border, I had lots of time to think about what we'd seen in Chihuahua. I thought about the LeBarons and their war against the narcos, the kidnapping, the murders, and the lengths they have to go to protect themselves every day. I also thought about what Kelly Romney had said about the US being the swimming pool and Mexico being the diving board, and how similar all of this is to America's history with outlawing alcohol. So we're just approaching the border here, back into America. Feels like about a year has passed since we were here last. As we were driving here from Chihuahua, I was thinking, you know, how prohibition in America led to the rise of the mob, the Al Capones, the Lucky Lucianos. Our war on drugs, our prohibition against drugs, has caused the same thing. You see it down here. It's, it's the sort of blunt edge of the hammer. It's the rule of the thug. You know, you have $200 assassins. And as long as there's prohibition, it's going to continue. The war on drugs is a failure. There's never been more drugs in America, and they've never been cheaper or better or higher quality. And as we sat for hours at the border waiting to get back into America, I thought about the fact that Mitt Romney might just be the next president of the United States. God bless America. Thanks, you guys. Now, polygamy and kidnapping notwithstanding, if he wins, he's going to have some hard decisions to make about decriminalizing drugs and fixing our immigration problem. Because if he doesn't, Mexico, his Mormon brethren, and perhaps even his own flesh and blood are going to pay the price. Thank you.